so I decided to do something a little different with my camera today and hold it a little closer. I was looking in my viewfinder and realized my makeup's a little dark, but when you mix your color every day, you can be a different color every day. Actually, I was a little tired today. find something to laugh at myself about, right? Headed to Fayetteville to get all my money out of the B of A. So this is funny. I called this morning and I'm absolutely grateful that there is still yet one bank open. One next closest one is Springfield, Missouri. So when I talked to some lady on the phone, I'm sure she was an important lady, she said, oh, well, the bank in Springfield on Campbell is open. <laughs> I'm in Northwest Arkansas. That's 130 miles away. I won't be driving to Springfield today, more than likely. Not that I'm never up there, but not today. Anyway, so I, so I asked the gentleman on the phone today at Dixon Street, the Dixon Street uh, branch, and I like never go to Dixon Street because it's, it joins the University of Arkansas, and I know this is whatever, weird or whatever, even when Becky, my youngest, went to the university, and she had a couple times she needed me to pick her up because her car was in the shop or whatever. I always felt so... Mm, what's a good word? I always felt like I stuck out on campus. Like I did not belong and like I had no business there. And like people were watching me and, and they knew I didn't belong. Anyway, I know that's weird and silly and everything else, but it's true. I really felt that way whenever I would get on campus. Um, just felt like, let's see if I can get this to look a little bit better. Uh, just felt like I really did not belong, right? I didn't belong. And everybody knew I didn't belong. So, I did not ever feel comfortable on campus. Anyway, that all aside, this bank is on Dixon Street. The last time I think I was on Dixon Street was in Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, which I like to call Boobs, Bikes, and Beer. <clears throat> and the celebration of motorcycles in October, we, are, we actually bring in more people than Sturgis. I think that's South Dakota. Anyway. people my age know it, it used to be this huge motorcycle rally that was not necessarily tame I mean people died every year there um, but in Northwest Arkansas it's pretty tame okay it's people my age that have money that buy Harleys and want to just ride for the enjoyment of riding had, I wish I could remember two or three hundred thousand more people in our area last year when we had it. They canceled it this year. It's a beautiful place to ride up here. Anyway, I said all that to say this. The last time I was on Dixon Street was during Becky was wanted to go down there for bikes and blues and barbecue. We didn't have Aiden with us. This was before Addie was born. So I'm walking, I'm walking along Dixon Street, clenching my purse, because I do have my 38 in there. And she looks back at me and she goes, Mom, are you not having a good time? I said, no, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, okay. So we didn't stay much longer. And 
Deering Bikes Blues and Barbecue here in October. They close Dixon Street because there are so many motorcycles. They can park them instead of like a car parallel parking. They park, you know, they can park six bikes where one car would park. So they close Dixon and only bikes can get in there. And they have all kinds of rallies and runs and poker runs and uh, all kinds of things they can go to and do. It makes it, it in the uh, highways are just full of motorcycles which we're all happy to welcome them in. It's wonderful for our economy here to have an extra 300,000 people in our area that weekend. So I'm going to Dixon Street to withdrawal and close my account. Okay, so here's what I was going to say. So I called this morning to Dixon, to Dixon Street Bank, and I was so happy. I got a human on the phone. It's not closed, right? So I said, well, I would like, I'm so happy you're open. I would like to come and make a withdrawal and close my account. He said, well, you have to have an appointment. You have to have an appointment to close your account. I said, okay, make me an appointment. So he pauses a minute and he says, well, we don't have any appointments until next Monday. And I said, really? I said, why are you so busy with all these appointments? What are all these appointments for? Well, they're for closing accounts and I'm like, really? You have this many people closing accounts that you're booked up till next Monday? And he said, well, and getting a debit card or opening an account. I'm thinking, yeah, you have so many people leaving you guys you're booked up till next Monday with people wanting to close their accounts. I just don't really have a lot of good things to say about B of A. I've had some not good experiences with them. And I heard from somebody inside the bank that they were going to, they weren't wanting even, you know, individual household families or people banking there. That's not what they want to do. They only want to do large corporations and businesses. But it's not like they have to give us such poor service that we all leave them. Uh, anyway, so this was funny too. I got in three payments today in the B of A for $2,500 each. So I mean, I don't know if they ever look at my account or see what's in there. I was going to tell them, yeah, I'm a life coach and that's my fee. That's 10 sessions. That's my fee. Which I do aspire to be a life coach. I need to work on myself some more, right? Uh, I need to work on myself some more to be a life coach. So, my good thought for the day, I know that sun feels wonderful and it's coming in and washing me out. But my good thought for the day is listening to this book written in the 1800s about Elijah. Now, if you'll remember, he was an Old Testament prophet during a very dark time in Israel where they had uh, appointed false priests in the temple instead of worshiping God. 